What up YouTube? It's your boy AQ and I'm back with another video for you guys, man. Listen, and the video that we're going to do today is how to spot a gold digger. So I'm going to give you guys 10 signs of a gold digger, okay? So I know that there are a bunch of you dudes right now who are in relationships with gold diggers. And I also know that there's a bunch of you dudes right now who are actually married to a gold digger. And the sad thing about it is you probably don't even know that you're dealing with a gold digger, okay? So what I'm going to do is just give you 10 signs, man. 10 signs that you need to pay attention to, all right? Now, the first sign that she's a gold digger, bro, the first obvious sign, bro, if her friends are gold diggers, what you think? If she hangs with gold diggers, bro, she's a gold digger too. Now, there's a bunch of you dudes out there who might think, nah, that ain't the case, bro. That don't, like, that don't mean nothing. Birds of a feather flock together. Don't be a fool and think that your girl is special because she's hanging around gold diggers. She relates to gold diggers for a reason, okay? So that's just the first sign, bro. If her friends are gold diggers, she's a gold digger too, all right? The second sign that she's a gold digger, when you just met her, she inquired about your finances. What you do for a living? Hmm. How much money you make doing that job? Hmm. When are you up for a promotion? If she are inquiring about your finances, bro, red flag. Red flag. If a chick, and this is just me, all right? And of course, everybody's not me, and like everybody's not Q, but if a chick asks me what I do for a living, my response is always a little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> if a chick's ask, yo, if a chick asks me what I do for a living, that's our response to why? Because it's none of a fucking business, bro. It's none of a business, and I, and I don't have to prove my finances to no chick that I just met. Like I don't like I don't like I don't have to prove to you how much I make in order for you to accept me. Is you kidding me? So fellas, if a chick is inquiring about your finances, red flag. That's a sign of a gold digger. It is what it is. So that's the second sign. So the third sign is, man, she never pays for anything. If you've been on countless dates with a chick and every time y'all go out, you have to pay. Since you've been dealing with her, she never tried to pay for anything. She never even like volunteered to even grab the bill one time. Because you know, like some chicks might fake it, right? Like some chicks uh, might be like, um, um, I got it. In like in hopes of you saying, nah, babe, I got it. You know what I'm saying? With a gold digger, a gold digger don't even do that. A gold digger will sit there and eat that shit up in front of your fucking face and don't even uh, like volunteer to even pay the tip. So that's the third sign, bro. If you have to pay for every single thing, fam, and she never once tried to pay for it, that's a gold digger. And another thing about that is she not only will let you pay for everything but she also but she also so doesn't show interest in you think about that so she will eat up all your shit and still not show that much that much interest in you 
And that's a gold digger, bro. So that's a third sign, man. That's a third sign right there. Now the fourth sign. The fourth sign is she uses sex and seduction in order to get the things that she wants. She uses sex and seduction in order to get the materialistic things that she wants. So for example, if your girl wants like a fancy fucking purse, you know what I'm saying? She wanted like, like an expensive purse and shit, right? What she's going to do is probably give you some head in hopes of you buying it. What she's going to do is probably give you some pussy in hopes of you paying for that shit. See what I'm saying? But that's the mindset of a gold digger. A gold digger uses her body as a tool in order to get what she wants. So anything that she wants, so if she wants you to buy her a car or whatever the case is, like she might ask you, yo, daddy, yo, daddy, can, uh, like, can you buy me this? And then you're like, oh, shit, I don't know, man. You know, things kind of hard right now. She, she probably going to look at you and then go suck your dick and shit. In hopes of you buying that shit. And as sad and, and as sad as it is, a bunch of you dudes be falling for that shit. Just because a chick suck your dick or give you some pussy fam, you, you don't need to buy her anything. That's what she's supposed to do. You see what I'm saying? And, the, and that's the problem with like a lot of you dudes, man. Y'all be falling into these, go, uh, into these gold digger traps so easily. It's just sad, man. All right, so that's the fourth sign. Now the fifth sign that she's a gold digger, man. The fifth sign that she's a gold digger. She live a very expensive lifestyle that her job can't afford. Or she live a very expensive lifestyle and she don't even have a job. Make it make sense. Again, that's the mindset of a gold digger, bro. She lives a very lavish, expensive lifestyle. And she might be living in a fucked up neighborhood. She might be living a very expensive lifestyle. And she probably might be living in a dirty ass apartment with a blow up mattress. These are the signs of a gold digger, people. That's a major sign of a gold digger. Like, let me, okay, let me tell you, like, let me give you a, an example, right? How I knew that I was dealing with a gold digger from the rippity rip. Like, I remember this chick, right? So we went to a bar. Now, this chick ordered two double shuts of the Hennessy XO. Keep in mind, this was our first date. She ordered two double shots of that shit. I'm looking at her like, in my mind, I'm like, who paying for that shit? So, me being the type of nigga that I am, you know what I'm saying? I simply used the bathroom and that was the last that she heard of me. And yeah, that yeah, I mean, and that was the last time she heard from me. All right, because I ain't got time to, time to be playing with no gold digger. And the reason why I said she was she was a gold digger because at the time she didn't have a job and she was living in the hood. It is what it is. All right. And another thing with gold diggers is this, bro. Another thing with gold diggers is this, man. They will pull it. They will try you, okay? All right. Now, uh, this is the sixth or the fifth sign. I believe this might be the fifth sign. The fifth sign of a gold digger is this, bro. The fifth sign of a gold digger is this. 
she only dates men with money she only dates guys with money so if you look at her track record if you look at a history of the men that she dated they all had money all right so don't think you special as a man don't think you special don't think that this chick really likes you for you no brother you you not that special okay she like what you can provide her so if you meet a chick and you look at her track record and all these niggas is niggas who would like who got major money to spend you should understand the type of chick that she is bro all right so that's a sick sign man she only dates dudes with a lot of money that's the sick sign all right now the seventh sign that she's a gold digger man the seventh sign that she is a gold digger okay she only like expensive gifts yes that's the sign of a gold digger bro she only likes expensive gifts sentimental gifts have no value to her a gold digger only value expensive gifts so if you got a girl and you only could buy her expensive gifts because she's not into the sentimental simple gifts that really mean something to a person right because sentimental gifts are the type of gifts that you give to uh to a person to to, to assure them how much you care about them but with a gold digger that does nothing for them because that's not why she's here she don't care whether or not you care about her that much she care about how much you're paying her how much you're giving her okay so understand that so that's the sixth sign right there all right the sixth sign she only value expensive gifts all right now i believe that's a seventh sign i'm sorry I think I got the signs mixed up. Um, no, the eighth sign that she's a gold digger. The eighth sign that she's a gold digger, man. <laughs> the eighth sign that she... And this one is crazy right here. The eighth sign that she's a gold digger. If she's mad at you, she will accept gifts or money as an apology. Crazy, right? If she's mad at you, she will accept gifts or money as an apology that's the mindset of a gold digger okay understand that and the 10th sign the 10th sign that she's a gold digger man and this one right here is is a crazy one now i believe this is the ninth sign see damn i got all man i got this numbers uh situation mixed up i'm sorry y'all so the ninth sign that she's a gold digger Don't matter what you do, don't matter how much money you spend, she's never content and she's ungrateful. The tenth, the ninth sign of a gold digger, don't matter what you do or how much money you spend, she's never content and she's ungrateful. All right, fellas, one thing like you could never do is look to a gold digger for appreciation a gold digger only appreciates how much money you are willing to spend on her okay a gold digger only appreciates how much money you are willing to spend on her and a tenth sign that she's a gold digger man the tenth sign and this one is crazy but one thing y'all have to understand about gold diggers, man, they are professional manipulators. That's what they do. That's the expertise. And it's crazy. So the 10th sign of a gold digger, bro, if she starts arguments for no reason, and the only way 
she's going to be happy is if you buy her something. As crazy as that sounds. The tenth sign of a gold digger is she starts arguments for, for no reason. And the only way that you can make her happy or calm her down is by buying her a gift or giving her money. It is what it is, fam. Those are the 10 signs of a gold digger. Now, I give you guys the, the 10 signs, man. Please learn these signs, all right? And educate yourself about these signs and pay attention to the signs when you're dealing with chicks so you can, so you can stop tricking, all right? So as a man, you can't trick you can't buy love bro you can't buy love okay it is what it is so these are the 10 signs of a gold digger uh let me know like what you guys uh, thought about the video in the comments and leave your thoughts below it's your boy aq and i'm out man peace